Hi, it's Cameron again. Um, I'm here at the E.M. Mills Memorial Rose Garden. Uh, it's a spectacular garden that's maintained entirely by volunteers, I just found out. That's literally across the street from the university. In fact, if you look in the background, you can see the garden, and then you can see the beginnings of Syracuse University campus right across from it. So, all this week I was working on um, a video project that should be done fairly soon. So I was walking around campus, seeing all the beauty that I've grown accustomed to from going to school here. You know, there, there are still nooks and crannies yet to be explored, and one of those places that I had never really been in, for a long time anyways, is Hendricks Chapel. It's, it's a gorgeous building, at least from the outside, which is how I had observed it up until this week. So I approached Hendricks Chapel, I started walking up the orange carpeted steps, that go up the beautiful entrance way and I started to hear some music. I kept walking in and I saw someone was sitting at the grand piano playing all by himself. No one else was in the chapel. So the face looked fairly familiar but he kept on playing and I didn't want to bother him at all so I, I shot a little bit of the inside of the chapel and I, I shot him a little bit too. And it turns out I had met this man before. I'd met him in the, the bathroom at Eggers. He was fixing fixing a, a faulty urinal. This guy's name is, is Fred, he's a plumber here. He's a, an incredibly friendly guy, a really good pianist, it turns out. And, uh, you know, uh, and he's been a plumber here for a long, long time. That's one of the cool things about, about college, and Syracuse in particular. College introduces you to a whole bunch of new people you would not otherwise meet. You know, it's the beginning of your professional network, and everyone knows that, but it also gives you these chance encounters with people that are kind of remarkable, you know? It's this guy who spends all day working on toilets and working on fixing water supplies and things like that. He takes his 30-minute lunch break, goes into Hendrix Chapel, and plays on probably the best piano on campus, and he kills it. It's, it's great. It's so refreshing to see, you know, that kind of that kind of pride and beauty and care taken in, in someone's craft. That sort of reminds me of the volunteers that take care of this rose garden. It seems to be a common theme in Syracuse that if you're going to do something, do it right, do it well, and, and make it excellent. So, um, like I said, I've been working on a project that should be up next week, so keep your eyes peeled for it. Um, Margot and I will continue to update our vlogs. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for some more videos, video logs, video projects, and whatever. So thanks a lot. Have a good day.